everyone today I'm excited to go over the launch CRP 919 EBT scanner today we're gonna go over a basic overview of this launch scanner and in future videos I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step procedures on how to use the scanner to accomplish specific things on your BMW that's going to include component activations engine adaptation relearns and resets and maintenance, CBS data resets, and if you made a mistake to CBS data, how to do CBS data corrections. That's just to name a few of the items that this scan tool can do. Let's take a look inside the box. It does come in a nice container. It has this nice flip down area right here. You have your scan tool. It comes with a bunch of different adapters for US market or other markers like Europe would have a different plug gives you your OBD2 connection I have this all set up and ready to go uh, this is for the charger the main charger so it has a nice area for storage let's take a look at the scan tool itself it's a little bit more like a tablet size I didn't peel the plastic off yet and we'll go ahead and power this on and take a look all right let's go ahead and power this on if you're following some of my videos I did show how to remove the cylinder head on an M54. I showed how to repair the engine block. I'm putting the camshafts in and we're gonna be doing timing and that's coming up in a future video. Please remember to like and subscribe to Ask Our Experts YouTube channel. All right, let's get into this. We're gonna go ahead and power this on and you can see how big it is. It's a good sized tablet and that's what makes this one nice. Go ahead and peel the plastic off. And you can see right here, it's the CRP919BT version 1.00.004. This is what the main screen looks like. It does come with some software updates, so you can check. So you can just attach it to your home internet and then go ahead and update the software. Obviously, you can buy many features of this for different vehicles. Uh, they do sell specific modules, but you can see that the touch screen is very responsive, but even better, we're gonna go check out how this works in my BMW X5. Now this scan tool is great for the home mechanic and even for a shop. We're gonna just look at the service functions that come with this. Now on a lot of newer BMWs, you have to do a specific ABS bleeding procedure. Uh, there's an AC system relearn initialization. That's actually pretty important adapter front lighting we can do diesel stuff so add blue reset air fuel reset air level calibration i wonder if that's for suspension battery matching brake reset coolant bleed crankshaft position sensor at adaptive learning this was a problem on e65s so where we actually had to readapt the crankshaft sensor dpf regeneration egr adaptation throttle engine power balancing particular filter regen that's important also for a diesel gearbox relearn high voltage battery immobilizer reset now all of these features there's a lot in here injector coating cruise control nox sensor for diesel again oil maintenance reset seat occupancy calibration steering angle stop start reset sunroof tire tpms database transport mode window calibration. These are some of the quick features on the service functions in this launch scan tool. Now it does also have a camera here on the back and we're gonna go ahead and let's just mess around here. So home, what did I do? Took a screenshot. So you can take screenshots with this tab right here. The VCI, that's for the interface, which is not plugged in. I wanna go over all the general features that this has, and then we'll do a scan on my BMW X5 E70. You know, if you're a shop or you wanna have um, diagnostic reports, you would find that right here in the user info. I got my report, management, activate VCR. We have a firmware fix. We have order, my order, subscription renewal, profile, change your password because you can have this all password protected if you want. Info center, I mean, that's gonna give you some tips. Operating skills, they have different vehicles in here. We're gonna go under BMW and let's just see what they have. They have M MSV90 engine ECU replacement and cloning, steering angle sensor calibration, BMW teach in end stop, ride height adjustment guide X5 2007. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. 
let's take a look at one. Replace injectors. Let's just see what this says if I hit check. Oh, this is pretty cool. So there's a bunch of information in here too. I didn't even know this had this until I was messing around with it today a little bit more. BMW, replace injectors and adjust injection rate. This says 740 LI 2011, right? So replace injector, the fuel injector one and two and adjust the fuel injector rate after replacement. So this is telling you about the code that needs to be on it. Install the injector and let's see what else they say. Click ECM, enter the system, right? Here's our code right here, 581207. Injection rate adjustment, right? So this is actually telling you how to do all of these steps. Pretty cool, this comes with a whole bunch of information for you to review. If you're looking for something very specific, it might be in here. So let's try this um, MSV90 ECU cloning. So this is pretty cool. It gives you some more information if you are gonna try to clone an ECU. You can see, all right, this is what we have. I have this uh, tool right here. It goes to a separate OBD2. Then they have, there's an additional component that's needed and see how it just plugs in to the DME um or the ecu they're calling it in this case right and it tells you how to flash the new file i'm gonna have to take a look at this this is pretty interesting bmw mini immobilizer software so there's a lot of pretty cool stuff that you can do now this particular kit does not come with this additional adapter you would need a different one or you can purchase the adapter separately i believe um, but all of this information is built in and at your fingertips under this operational tips and this is going to be multiple vehicles so if you're just a, a nut that likes to read about more and more information about different cars there's a bunch of stuff in here now i'm setting up for the advanced diagnosis so you have to put in your account information and then it comes with a piece of paper with the serial number and then inside this paper is your activation code this is how you activate your vci and register the product all right, I successfully completed the registration. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to have some upgrades. BMW rules updated the data for F and G series functionality. Now, this is all the other updates that they have. So I'm going to actually update this immediately. So there, so I'm showing you the best and latest. So I'm going to just pause right now and I'm gonna go ahead and update this. Let's just take a look at what the details are for BMW. So really they're doing update data of the F, G, and I series functions such as programming, coding, personalization, and retrofitting 2023. So it's nice, this is something that they continually work on. All right, let's get the upgrade going. I'm gonna hook up the launch VCI interface to the OBD2 port. Most OBD2 ports are on the driver's side, and that's going to power that up. And this is going to plug into the launch tool. All right, the interface just plugs right into the top. I'm going to go ahead and power this on. This is after my updates. Now, when you're scanning a vehicle, it is a good idea to have a battery charger on hand and installed because you don't want the engine running necessarily and for a lot of tests. So, I actually have a charger on here set in a maintainer mode so this is outputting 14 and a half volts if you don't have a battery charger just make sure to watch your battery voltage so it doesn't get too low i'm going to start by turning the ignition on all of the instrument cluster lights usually turn on on some newer cars you have to do a triple press of the start stop button um, but this, on my BMW X5, I only have to put the ignition in and press it once, and my key is on. And let's try the intelligent diagnose. And this is pretty cool. I have not actually done the intelligent diagnose yet because you have to register the product before you can do that. All right, so this is not an EV, so we're just going to hit BMW. EV stands for obviously electric vehicle. So this is kind of cool. It gives you an auto detect result, tells you your year, 2011, 
35i. It does not say it's an N55, which I know it is an N55. Gives you the VIN number. Diagnostic scan his history or quick access here. So software can diagnose electrical control systems of BMW coverage from 1996 to 23. Includes engine, chassis, and body and other parts. The operation is the same as the original scan tool. Let's do diagnostics. All right, we're into the diagnostics can give us our mileage in kilometers and miles. It tells me it's an X5, left-hand drive. This is my production date, 2010-10. And it does tell us, at least on this screen, what engine it is, N55. So it says to ensure accuracy, it wants you to turn off the ignition, wait 10 seconds, and turn it back on again. That's about 10 seconds, right? So the scan tool is going to read out all of the modules in the BMW, which is great because it can actually detect problems in most of the systems here. So we get a health report, system selection, anti-theft, system scan, special function, or coding program. It tells us what the battery voltage is right there. All right, everybody, let's take a look at what the health report shows on my BMW E70. So you can see ECM has a fault. Um, I had a central under voltage uh, footwell module fault for my number plate. I actually have some new bulbs for that. So this is gonna read all of the modules in a BMW. So let's just go through the ECM. I mean, I know it as the DME, digital motor electronics. A DDE is digital diesel electronics. The FRM is the footwell module. One thing you wanna keep in mind when you're scanning a car an older car that has an frm make sure your windows stay up because sometimes the frm will fail and when the frm fails the windows stop working if your window is down and you don't have a place to keep the car that could be a problem it's very common sometimes for this frm to fail although there are some places online that you can send the frm if it does fail and they can actually recover it cas fem bbc front electronics module or body domain controller this is responsible for reading the key, talking to the DME, and setting and allowing the start signal to start the starter. EKPS is the fuel pump. TCM or EGS is what I'm used to. This says EGS, D, K, G, and SMG. VTG is our transfer case. GWS is our shifter. REC, ABS, electronic parking brake. So all of these other modules are all read out which is great so it reads pretty much everything out of the bmw so let's take a look at the under voltage so if i select the dme it gives you the vin number part number and whatnot just basic information so we can read the fault code out and we can see the fault code history right here so we had a central under voltage i know that i need to replace the battery on this BMW and that's on a list of things I'm going to be doing and I'm going to show you how to register the battery using this scan tool. So let's go back, code search, let's see what that does. So if you hit code search and you're connected to the internet, it will actually pull up information relating to those codes. So this is a nice quick way to do some diagnostic research and it's nice that it's all built into the tablet. Um, now I'm, a, I'm not gonna wait for it to fully load. We're gonna go back and I wanna go back again. So just hit back. Do you wanna display the corresponding DTCs? Yes. All right, so that's my under voltage. Let's go back. So this is the engine control module. Let's go back one more time and take a look at the footwell module. We're gonna hit enter for the footwell module and I know that I have a number plate that is intermittently going out on me so i'm gonna replace those bulbs but i'm just curious to see what we see so frm number plate light faulty very clear sometimes on a bmw the light could be malfunctioning but you can't tell which one it is good way to determine which one it is is actually scan the car and sometimes it can help you identify what that warning is if it's not very clear so there's a lot of things you can do with the scan tool um, obviously we can read the fault code that is important we can read some data stream and we can do some actuation tests um, this is the frm module itself 
So if we go into the actuation test, so these are some of the things that it can do. So adaptive headlight, we can do a test for that. Interior mirror, power window front. So let's just do power window. So we're diagnosing and we want to command the driver's window open. Now, why would we do this? If we had an issue with the switch and the switch was not sending the signal, but we didn't know it was the switch, with this scan tool, we could actually command through the FRM to open the driver's window for four seconds. So if I hit active, there we go. And my window opened. So I know that it is actually sending the signal from the FRM module to the window, but my issue could be that the signal is not getting from my switch to the FRM module. And again, we can actually close the front passenger window. So let's try that. Oop, that's the passenger window. I wanted to close the driver's window. Open, close window, driver's side. Here we go. Perfect. So the, these actuation tests help you to determine if the issue is a different component and we're checking a bunch of things when you do these actuation tests. You're checking your FRM module and you're checking your outputs too. So this is telling me that my window regulator is fine. Um, I could actually test for power right at the motor when I'm activating it if the motor still did not run. If I see power, then I know the motor is faulty. That's why it's nice to have a scan tool like this that can actually do these activations um, because it's a great diagnostic tool when you're trying to figure out a tough problem. All right, so there it is. That's a quick overview of this great scan tool. And I'm going to break down in future videos each individual thing that we can do with this just so that it makes it easier to use. And so lots of videos on how to, how to use this to come. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. And I'll put a link in the description box if you're interested in this particular scan tool and we'll i'll be doing everything we can to figure out exactly what this can do and if this is going to be a good purchase for you